friends welcome to my channel exploring life and today we are going to talk about the most important step that is ILTS let's get started so let me start with the first very basic question that what is IELTS IELTS stands for International English Language Testing System Now you must have the next question why to take IELTS test Now the purpose of IELTS is to access the English language proficiency of the non-native English speakers It is designed to assess the language ability of a candidate who needs to work study or migrate in the other countries where the first language of communication is English. Let us now understand the IELTS exam pattern. The IELTS exam is divided into two modules. The first is academic module and the second is the general training module. Let us now first talk about the academic module. It is intended for those who wants to enroll in the universities or other institute for higher education in the English speaking countries. Now let's move on to the next module that is the general training test. It is intended for those people who want to go for the work experience or the immigration purposes in the English speaking countries. So let's now go into the detail of each module. Each module consists of four parts and each module consists of first listening, second reading, third writing and fourth speaking. One thing I want to make you clear that all test takers have to take the same listening and speaking test while the reading and writing tests differ depending on whether the test taker is taking the academics or the general training test. Now let's elaborate on the each section. Now let's start with the listening. It consists of 40 questions, 10 questions in each session. Now let's get into the listening sections. Section 1 which has the conversation between the two speakers. It might consist of the conversation like travel arrangements and more. Now let's move to the section 2. It has a one person speaking. For example, the person is giving the speech about the local facilities or the bus services etc. Now let's move to the section 3 and 4. Both will be on the educational and training situations. Now let's move on to the next section that is the reading section. It consists of 60 minutes. Let's understand the reading for academic module first. There will be three reading texts from books, journals and all topic are of general interest to students at undergraduate and the postgraduate level. Now let us understand the reading for general training. It consists of three sections. The section 1 which contains two or three short texts or several short texts. Section 2 contains two texts which deal with work for example job description, contracts, training material. Section 3 contains one long text about a topic of general interest. Now let's move on to the next module that is the writing module. It consists of 60 minutes. Let us elaborate more on writing for IELTS Academy. It consists of task 1 where you have to describe a graph, table, chart or a diagram in your own words. And then the task 2 in which you have to discuss a point of view, argument or a problem. Let's continue further writing for general training. It consists of two tasks. The first task is to write a letter in response to a given everyday situation. For example, writing to an accommodation officer about the problems with your accommodation. 
task to to write an essay about the topic of general interest for example whether smoking should be banned in public places let's now move on to the last section that is speaking it consists of 11 to 15 minutes of the session speaking test is face to face interview between the test taker and an examiner it consists of three sections section 1 in which the interviewer may ask about the self introduction section 2 which runs around 3 to 4 minutes test taker are given a task card about a particular topic test takers have 1 minute to prepare to talk about this topic section 3 where the discussion is carried out for the 4 to 5 minutes the third section involves a discussion between the examiner and the test taker generally a question related to the theme which they have already spoken about in the section To know about the IELTS, let us now read the general information about the IELTS. You can follow these four simple steps to get registered. for the IELTS examination Now the most important part that how to prepare for the IELTS Here are some of the important links and some of them I will mention in the description box below If you have any questions do leave a comment in the comment box and I will get back to you as soon as possible Last but not the least please don't forget to hit like share and subscribe to my channel and for more such updates keep following me on exploring life instagram till then bye bye